Hey, what's going on, players? Thank you for tuning in to the Sea God YouTube channel with your boy, CGOD, at Camber God, the guy on the YouTubes. All right, so without further ado, uh, obviously, y'all hopefully can read. If you can't, thank you for tuning in and watching and listening. But if you are able to read, you'll know that the uh, title of this video is the Razor Tour Pack for our 2008 Ultra Classic, baby. And we're going to be installing it with the Saddleman seat here pad. So, I mean, I've never actually put these hoes together. But, boy, let me tell you, it is a match. You know what I mean? So, that's going to be looking somewhat killer, like right here, eh? So tell me that's not going to be mean, you know what I mean? With a mean old tour pack. So, before we go ahead and hop into that one, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. Here is what I ordered separately. This is actually the docking kit. So this is going to allow us to mount up our uh, our good old Razor tour pack, right? Because this one, the way this one works, so I mean, as you can see, it is vivid black, you know what I mean? Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys what it looks like outside and I believe it locks too considering they have some keys here for us but uh so basically I mean you know what I mean without further ado it's like a kid in the candy store boys go ahead and rip it up but either way it does have some assembly that is required so I mean obviously I don't know if it even comes with a pad on it yeah see it don't even have a pad um, hopefully our bolts line up but it's not really looking like they do to be honest hold on so if we see here on the back we've got approximately three bolts right which is like two high one low so we got like one high one low and then not another one over on this side so this may create an issue right but we're going to go ahead and kind of mock it up, see what we got to do to mount up our pad as well as mount this up. Um, like I said, the mounting underneath, I got it all chrome and whatnot. So it's going to be like a quick detach type deal, right? But I got to assemble all of it, you know what I mean? Like inside of the tour pack itself, see if I can open it. I don't know if I opened it or if I just picked up the whole thing, but... Oh yeah, definitely just picked up the whole thing. I don't know. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so here is how this here Johnny works. This is the inside. So as you can see, they did send it to us with somewhat of a pad. Uh, if this pad has the same mounting, yeah, it does. So it should actually mount up exactly the same. So, I mean, as you could see here, or no, never mind, definitely not. Yeah, so this one, our pattern, as you could call it, is uh, not the same. You know what I mean? So, we're going to go ahead and do some adjustments to be able to mount up our new pad. You know, because this pad is cool, but it's just not really for me. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go ahead and get on it because this box is going to fall if I don't hold it with my leg. And I'll bring y'all right back, alright? So it is quite dark. Kind of ran out of time. We did in fact have to drill new holes to be able to mount our uh, backrest on the tour pack, right? But this is basically like somewhat of what it's going to be, right? So, I mean, it looks pretty legit, you know. I like it, I like it. A um, couple of things. This is, in fact, an eBay special. You know what I mean? Like, cheapest of the cheap. So, with that being said, um, our bracketry and stuff. Like, the brackets, like, to mount it to the bike and stuff look cool, right? But normally, there's a plate that goes inside of here, you know, that will bolt down underneath to the brackets but that doesn't line up with any of the holes that are on the tour pack already so i'm basically doing kind of like somewhat of a rough mock-up as you could see you know what i mean this is roughly or essentially where i want it you know what i mean 
that is where I would like to have it so it's gonna bolt up to like one of these pieces here you know so it's gonna sit a little bit different but like I said we ran out of daylight today you know what I mean it's all dark and whatnot so I'm gonna have to do the uh, the kit here the docking kit and then once we get that then we'd be able to dock it and exactly figure out you know like all, all we're doing basically is just like positioning it forward and back but I would like to drill the holes only one time you know ideally drill the holes one time bolt it one time and then mount it one time and then we'll be done you know what I mean uh, it came with some holes right here and I don't necessarily know why but it came with these little plugs, so I did go ahead and put the plugs in it. Um, like I said, the seat or the the pad or whatever, it was indeed like a different bolt pattern. Um, I don't recall if Saddleman made this one for like the newer style ones, which is very possible. But basically, I told uh, the people over at Hog Riding who ordered this for me that it didn't really matter. You know what I mean, like. I would make it work as you could see so shout out to them they actually ordered me this uh pad like before it even released you know what i mean like i literally had it in my hands i've had it for a long time it's just you know what i mean barely got the itch to come out here and start doing it so shout out to them for giving me this early release but i mean as you could see like the full the full setup here looks pretty killer i'd say we got the yellow stitching throughout, and then we got the yellow beams, the yellow turn signals and whatnot. Um, I have a few other things also that I, I'm wanting to do. The uh, tail light here, I got like a little chrome like cover, you know what I mean? It's got a gold eagle on it. And then same thing with the fuel cap. So this piece here, I'm going to replace it with a chrome one that's got a gold eagle. Y'all know what it is, you know what I mean? We got some more stuff coming. Like I said, this is just, uh, basically after I put the tour pack on, this is gonna be it for the rear. So make sure to stay tuned. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get that, knock the rest of the way out, you know what I mean? Got a couple of fittings here and there, you know, as in fitting the, the brackets and whatnot. Bolting on, the docking hardware shouldn't be too hard. So um, I may or may not film it, but if I do, you'll see it right now all right players so i've went ahead and like i said i mounted up the uh docking kit here so i mean it's pretty simple you get down here it just has these two bolts right it mounts up there and then it has a third one there for the saddlebag mount this other one um it basically just installs in place of a bolt that's already there so i mean it came with the bolt and everything it's notched so that it fits you know what i mean P pretty simple stuff i'd say uh same on this side so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and install our uh mount here and then uh i still have it kind of loose as you could see well now you can see eh so I'm going to mount it up, you know, finalize the position of the sides, and then wherever it sits, I'll then tighten up these bolts, and then we'll be able to test fit the tour pack for the final time and mark where we're going to drill the holes to be able to bolt it on. Sheesh, so there you have it. The good old tour pack is mounted. Looks pretty slick, eh? Look at that thing. You know what I mean? You get way down here and you see the tag. So that's funny. Um, you want to look underneath. See it all mounted up now. Went ahead and used some 3 8 bolts with lock nuts to mount it. Pretty sturdy, I'd say. You can see that chrome bracketry. So go ahead and I'm getting leaves on it and stuff already. Yeah, as you can see, it does indeed match the seat and everything, you know, looks pretty slick. Go ahead and raise it up. It's got this little retractable piece, you know what I mean? It looks pretty good. Down here, it's got this carpeting. Um, it's kind of like double-sided, so you could rock, you know, the gray or the black. But we've also got the hardware, like I said, went ahead and went 3 8 bolts got some bigger washers just to be a little more stable um these front ones 
uh, I actually used just to kind of position it. So as you can see, it's got like four of them, right? Well, the front ones, I set them in there and they sit like against it. I don't know if I'll be able to capture what I'm talking about for you guys, but you can see right there, they, they're coming down. They're not actually mounted to anything, uh, but they're hitting right there. So that's basically how I got it centered, you know, and got it even on the bike. I believe you could also probably use those bolts, you know, like I said, because these back ones, you can see they go like right at the end of that piece also, you know, you can kind of see the hole, but I don't know. Either way, not too big of a deal. The only other thing is you just got to kind of have to hold this uh, little piece there for it to come down. You know what I mean? That way it sits behind the seat as you would like it, but it's pretty player though, I'd say. Uh, comfort wise, I'm not too sure yet. I haven't tried it. My kids will definitely probably like it. Uh, but man, it looks pretty slick, you know, see if I'll be able to fit my hard hat up in there. I think I'd be able to, um, but we'll try it, you know, whenever the time comes that I bring it to work. Another thing I wanted to mention, as you could see down here, I did get some bigger spacers because they called for like an inch um, on the Steady Customs website. So, I mean, you know what I mean? Give you guys a little look at that. But they are spaced a little down, so there you have it, dude. Look at that thing. That thing looks killer, bro. I think, anyways. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comments section. But I want to say it's about going to wrap it up for this. You know what I mean? Killer, killer. I think it looks sick, dude. Hopefully, like I said, it at least holds the hard hat. But I'll let y'all know when that time comes. You know what I mean? But for now, boys, I think that's probably going to call it a day. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Cheap little eBay Razor Tour Pack. Um, it is, you know, the smallest, I think, out of all of them. So, you know, thug life. But make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned. I'll catch you on the next one. We got a lot more coming on the Vigla, as you know. Later.